So the um, the queues seem pretty incredible for uh, for fuel. Why do you think there's such a there's such a problem over fuel, and and how is it affecting you and, and other people in Tripoli? You know, this is a big sign to show how the regime becoming weak. They're trying to show by the media that everything is stable and everything is normal, but I don't think this is what affecting. Uh, affecting uh, many people here because they're all trying to stay side by side uh, with the revolution. Do you think? Uh, do you think the hardships will get more difficult in Tripoli? I don't know, but if it's going to be, we will fight fight more. So, uh, what if what if Gaddafi stays in power? What what then? Yeah. Sorry, it's not an option. So, what have been your experiences since the uh, beginning of the uprising? Since the beginning, until February, I was trying to avoid the bullets. They came from machine guns used by supporters of the regime, the Gaddafi forces. Actually, every day in Libya, in Tripoli, to be honest with you, Tripoli now is bleeding. It's became like a big jail for us. Some of you say it in Benghazi, in Israel. <coughs> they said there is no protest in Libya and Tripoli. But to be honest, there is most every day. It's not easy, man. It's not easy. You will face death every day. If you say the truth, you will die. So what we can do? Has this uh, discouraged you from from protesting and, and going out and, and doing things? I'm trying. No, I'm trying. But uh, it became like a suicide operation. But we're trying every day. Thanks. Alright. We're going to go to the Fatah in Trablis. We're going to ask you what's going on in the Jamia currently. شبه متوقف يعني اللي رايح في جامعة فاتح وشد في حاليا من بداية طول 17 فبراير عاد الطلبة بداية كانت الاحتسام قليل لكن مع مر مع الوقت يعني بت تزيد تنقص الأعداد من توقع تبقى الاحتسام معظم طلبة الجامعة ما تسمين وش السبب الوقف القراية حاولوا يعني نوقف مع طول 17 فبراير وشهدان اللي صفتوا في بنغازي مجرد انهم طالبوا عن حقوقهم وحرية الراي ونحاول ان احنا باعتبارنا احنا من طالب الجامعة فاتح وطلبة نحاول نوقف مع مع شهداء 7 ابريل اللي تم اعدامهم في جامعة في وسط الجامعة من قبل نظام الطاغية مجرد انهم طالبوا طم التعبير عن حقوق على الراي بتاعهم واقل حاجة يعني هدف حقوق الانسان التعبير على الراي وهذا اللي يرضى يعني نظام الطاغية so, what is it about this this regime that has made you so desperate to seek change? Well, you know, I find it so hard to comprehend that uh, in 2011 this country is void of the fundamental institutions that and structures that define a state. I, I cannot believe that despite all our huge riches that you can't get the flu jab here and you can't get basic medication and majority of us sick have to have to go abroad to, to get specialist care. You know, I can't believe in 2011 there are no postal addresses, there's no postal service, that districts in Tripoli have no centralized uh, sewage network. You know, in a country of oil and gas, I can't believe that there's no, there's no gas uh, services to the homes and that you have to carry dangerous gas canisters uh, to, to, your, to your house, you know. So it's about building a new Libya? Well, more than that. It's about having the freedom to, to try. It, you know, it's about having the dignity and, and the liberty to be able to speak about the problems we face and about having the institutions through which uh, we can fix them. Um, and it's about having the protection of the state uh, and the rule of law, you know? What are you mostly looking forward to in the, if, in the new Libya? Well, you know, over the last 42 years, we, we've been made to feel as though uh, we do not deserve or, or you know, we're not capable uh, 
of change. You know, when we get rid of this uh, regime, there will be a sense of realization that that anything is possible, that that we are capable of, of great things. E each one of us, that feeling alone will, will liberate this nation. Okay, thank you. So, as a mother, what is it that you're um, expecting to achieve from uh, from this revolution? Um, I'm expecting a good, solid education for my kids. I'm expecting them to have a chance to fail or succeed, a fair chance to fail or succeed in life, uh, without having to be related to some government official or being involved in uh, some sort of government corruption. Um, I would also like them to have basic and good health care and not having to worry that if one of them gets sick I would need to travel across the continent to just get them basic care. I would also like them to have freedom of speech, to be able to speak their mind without fear of persecution or being haunted by a paranoid government. Are you hopeful? Oh, very. <laughs> Good. Thanks. <laughs>